Welcome back to Toronto's weirdest bus routes. Today we're taking a look at the 162 Lawrence Don Way. TTC service in the Bridal Path area was started on January 6, 1975 with the 101 Glenorchy bus, although the route number did not appear in head signs. This route operated from York Mills Station, east on York Mills, south on Bayview, east on Post Road, south on Park Lane Circle and Glenorchy Road, east on Suncrest Drive, north on the Bridal Path, and east on Lawrence to the Donway West, where it would turn north and loop via the Donway West and East before continuing west on Lawrence. On February 9th, 1981, the route was renamed to the 101 Edwards Gardens, and the route number was put on head signs, and then on March 14th, 1988, the route was renamed again to the 101 Donway York Mills. On July 22nd, 1991, the route was replaced by the 162 Lawrence Donway, which ran east from Lawrence Station on Lawrence, north on Bayview, east on Post Road, south on Park Lane Circle and Glenorchy Road, east on Suncrest Drive, north on the Bridal Path, and east on Lawrence to the Donway West, where it would turn north and loop via the Donway West and East, Don Mills, Barber Green Road, and Overland Drive back to Lawrence. Now let's go ride it. So the 162 currently operates west of Lawrence Station, but that's because the Lawrence Station bus terminal is closed right now, uh, and I don't think either me or you care about the bit that operates west of Lawrence Station. Sorry, it's really windy right now.
or the Lawrence East bus that also comes by here. That's definitely more frequent than this. This is Leslie, by the way. Here we are turning on to the route's other namesake, the Dawn Way. This part doesn't look as insane as the other part, but it's still pretty wealthy along here. Here we are crossing Dawn Mills for the first time. Counting this route is one of Toronto's weirdest bus routes because it just feels redundant most of the time. Like it goes through a bunch of neighborhoods and Warren's Avenue East isn't continuous from Young Street. So I get why it exists, but I feel like it could have been a branch of the 54 or just the 54 itself, as well as a separate route to serve all of the neighborhoods. And also some of the neighborhoods the route goes through are crazy. That first neighborhood we were going through felt like a rural Florida gated community. Like it was so weird. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Bye.